So, of course, I was going to call the ambulance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, breasts. Oh, welcome to episode 25, everyone. We are Marty and Michael, and we don't know where we are. <laughs> I think we're in Scotland. I think that's where we are. <laughs> straight, <laughs> I need out of, straight out of Edinburgh. Listen, 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 listen. Did you hear that? Yeah, you should have put it up to the mic. Oh, fuck. Michael did a little fluffy puffy. <laughs> So today's date is the uh, 14th of the 9th, 2029, and on this day, a famous event, uh, the uh, first brick was built from uh, Mr. Mr. Gay Brixen, and he built a brick accidentally, believe it or not, using sand and uh, dirt and pieces of wood, so he accidentally made the first brick on this day in 1973. So there's your little uh, famous event. <laughs> That's when bricks were invented. <laughs> oh, that is a scary look. That is a worry. Do you like my outfit? I, I haven't noticed that you're wearing anything different. Thanks. You look like a huge vagina. <clears throat> famous birthdays. Uh, Tom Cruise, happy uh, 63rd birthday. Uh, he watches some of our shit. So Tom Cruise... Happy to have you watching our shit, Fuck man. him. I hate that guy. Yeah. If you're into Scientology, fuck you. Also, don't jump on couches, cunt. Be a bit more respectful, you yeah. fucking dog. You were so lucky to have Katie Holmes, and I'm sure you you hit her, I reckon. I'm going to say that Tom Hanks, is it? Tom Hanks, I think, yeah. You hit Katie Holmes. <laughs> But another famous birthday is um, the guy who cuts Donald Trump's hair. Very not not that well known yet, but he's on the rise in the hairdressing industry. Uh, his name is Gail Fong Tai, and he it's his birthday today. And he's also a regular viewer, and he sends us all sort of hair products. Michael's hair wouldn't look like this if it wasn't for uh, Gail Fing Tong Pear. So thank you, Gail, for sending all that stuff and for always watching and supporting us. Happy happy 18th birthday to you, our friend. It happens regularly. I don't know what it is. I have spasms in my right elbow. What's that mean? Michael Michael has recently had some serious, serious health scares and um, he gets worried for a few days, but then some of the serious health scare symptoms subside a bit so he relaxes and then continues his lifestyle of debauchery and alcohol consumption and drug abuse and fast food consumption and here he is dressed in pink <laughs> he's like the pink panther and no yeah we'll, we'll get to that in the la stories which we should have should have said last week and we're sorry we didn't but we'll say that for our story segment this week on this day in 1842 the first horse was built <laughs> by Dr. Donkey and he accidentally made a horse out of donkey parts. <laughs> so thank you, Dr. Horse. Yeah, he just like, what? He just, In 1649, he accidentally made a horse. So, and fuck <laughs> me, where would we be without horses right now? Yeah, well, it'd probably be... We'd be riding donkeys around like idiots. So thank you, Horse. Do Dr. Donkey. Dr. Donkey... For inventing horses. Oh, fuck me. <clears throat> Alright, so uh, that's the end of our um, shit talk. We like to mention some crazy things that have happened on this day in the past. And we also like to mention some famous people's birthdays that watch the show. So now uh, we're on to the next segment, which of course has been renamed. Um, and it's been renamed... <laughs> Whoa. He even... That... That's... That's a, yeah, you just fucking lost your headphones. From it ben says to do that in the title. Oh, it's in the brackets. Yeah, fuck. Sway your head forwards so violently that your earphones snap backwards off of your head. <clears throat> man, Matthew Close Balsam's brackets. quite a strange man. Matthew, Sorry, Matthew Gregory. Gregory Brown. Brown. Gregory. Gregory. All right, and this segment is just basically where we answer fan questions. So you guys have sent in uh, some questions. You've sent in some for us. You've sent in some for Jackson. We'll answer the Jackson questions when Jackson's on the fucking show. So relax, be patient, or maybe just skip this bit if you don't like us, whatever. But we're going to answer some fucking fan questions right now. All right, let's do it. Read the first question. It's from underscore Georgia underscore Proctor underscore. 
And she has asked, how does one become a legend like you guys? Oh, how many times do I have to say it? You don't simply become a legend. You're either born like this or you're not. Okay? I'm sorry. It's not... What we do is not achievable by everyone. It's it's hard. It, it's if if someone who wasn't born with the with the legend gene tried to do what we do, that would that would be fail. fail. It would fail hard. You're born with it. You, you we we were given this gift at birth. Like I, I came out, I crawled out of my mother's tits and said and and just was a legend straight away and 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 that's just how it is i'm sorry but i'm sure other people are good at other things like i saw this guy the other day he was very very efficient at sweeping he had really unique angles the way he positioned the broom and and he swept a room in maybe half the time Maybe half the time that I would have been able to sweep the room. But you, but you, you shouldn't be sweeping. We shouldn't be sweeping. Well, it's just you got to do what you, where your talents lie, and our talents, our talent is just being a fucking legend. Yeah, dude. Like being a fucking legend. I was looking in the mirror the other day, and I was just like, man, so mir- hard. mirrors, mirrors are the best, <laughs> dude. Man. They're my favorite. Man, I fucking love mirrors. Like, I've got them all through my like since fucking Facebook pays us now. We're back to monetization. I've just my whole room is just mirrors. Yeah, dude. I was, sometimes I'll catch a glimpse of myself in the reflection of a car window and I'll stop for a good 15 minutes <laughs> yeah, nodding dude. and smiling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. Pumping yeah. yourself up. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 For 15 to 20 minutes. Yeah, yeah. I know. It's hard. Well, you know when you walk into a shopping center and there's a, there's a mirror or like fucking, you know, a reflection somewhere, I'm always checking myself out in it because it's just like, fuck. That is good. What yeah, I'm saying. Oh, dude. Yeah, sometimes I'll I'll lose three to four hours a day just looking at myself. <sighs> My arm's doing that thing again. Yeah, but yeah, it could be bone cancer. Anyway, back to the mirror and stuff. Like, I, I, I dude, I don't know if you do this because, well, yeah, you have told me, but let's tell everyone else to go to sleep at night. I just put our vids on. Mm, yeah. I just put them on next to my ear, and I just hear like sometimes like until I fall asleep. Because like, obviously you have to sleep. I only sleep three hours because I'm a fucking legend, you superhuman. When you're a legend. And then like I'll be drifting off and just hear our voices from our vids, on, like the audio podcast as well. Like it's just it's so. I just get Siri to read out the comments, like just read out the love comments, and that puts me to sleep usually. But yeah, usually I have a huge mirror that I put on the ceiling above my bed, and I'll just lie in bed on my back, looking up at myself, tossing off. Or slip, or yeah. I've started like when I bat off now. I bat off to myself. Yeah. Have you ever tried your own ass? Sometimes I look at analytics and I and I wank. I just I look I look at our growth over the last three months and I'll that that sort of gets me off. Anyway, next question. Yeah. Uh, dumbass underscore one oh six. Have you gone through puberty? <clears throat> Man, do you remember? I remember the day. I don't, but I remember the moment. I don't remember the date or the day, what day it was, but the moment when I found my first black hair on the like near the dick. Yeah, because I have an older brother, and I remember he he got them first, and I was it was so exciting to see some fucking hairs on your older brother, and I was like, fuck, I can't wait till I get some black fucking hairs on. My I head. didn't like it. I ripped it out. Yeah, it yeah, scared it is, me. It, yeah, it is. It is concerning to start with, and in your the voice starts deepening, all these weird shit starts happening, and your hormones are all over the place, but. You don't, you don't think like looking back now, puberty is pretty traumatic. But you don't know it's traumatic at the time because you haven't gone through it. You don't know what's normal. Know what I mean? It was weird. Do you remember your first bat? Yeah, yep. Yeah. I oh. remember it was like it was scary because you, it was you'd, you'd feel like you're about to get there you and then you stop me. Yeah, oh, I don't like, know oh. what's gonna. I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know what's gonna happen. <laughs> And plus, my brother was standing there telling me not to do it, but which was like a bit of a distraction. Yeah, but, yeah, it stops. So that. it made it a bit harder. But yeah, it, it get once you get there, it was like, and and then yeah, it was it was scary. I was at year eight camp, and all the boys in my dorm were jerking off, saying, "Yeah, it's cool, it's cool." And I was telling everyone not to do it, 
because I was really offended. Yeah, yeah. I, I used to pretend like I didn't need to wait yeah, yeah. because I, I get I've got sex. bitches. <laughs> I get sex when I'm 14. I get sex heaps. I don't need to wank. I get lots of sex. Yeah, your brother's a legend like that. Hmm. But I remember then once everyone went to bed, I was like, why are they raving about this shit? So then I started... I didn't even... I just sort of wank myself off through the pants by rubbing it. It was like a weird clip back then. Yeah. You can rub it. Yeah, yeah. And then like all of a sudden, I just fucking... This weird shit came out and I knew. And I was like, oh, I fucked my undies. Next day, after... Oh, come on. Come on, come wait, on. Wait, let me introduce... <laughs> let me introduce him first. No, no, no. This is good. This is good. He's right. We should have him on yeah, for this. Yeah. These are good questions. <clears throat> so, uh, uh, f- without further ado... Let me uh, introduce to you the man that um, has made salmon, salmon the most popular fish the in most, the world, and very silly. And he's fucking got, he's got bulk followers. He's got so many fucking followers. He, man. Like he he would he gives he wants to lose followers because he's sick of having so many. It's it's sick. It's sick how many followers he has. Like it makes me sick. Like sometimes it will be walking down the street. And there'll be fucking 400 people just standing behind him. Dude, yeah, it's literally like a fucking... You go to Chermside Shopping Centre down the road from us. Great place. And he just gets swarmed. He's the fucking number one fucking social media dog in Australia. Give it up for Jackson O'Doherty! Mind shot. We got him. What is up, my cousins? <clears throat> um, we just all kissed. What are we talking about? So back to my first off batting story, right? So I'd figured out that night, once all the boys were asleep, that you can, you know, your fucking white stuff comes out of your dick and it feels good. So then the next day after all the... We went surfing because it was like Talabudra down the Gold camp. Coast. It was like a camp <laughs> fucking place and blah, blah, blah. We got camp. back from after the first activity... And I went straight to the toilet to try and do it again. You can't force a wank. Mm, it just naturally happens. And as t- over time, you just get that form right. Because I didn't do like that form for a good while. I used to do like... Like a fire stick. <laughs> yeah, like a clip. Like, yeah, like a fire stick. I used to get two fingers and... I used, to, I, used to, I used to flick my... I used to alternate, flick my balls with both hands and my dick would go hard. I think I, I might have tried that. Flick my balls and, the, and that would... That would stimulate, and then it would, it would foam. Yep. Foam would... <laughs> no actual like cum, God. just foam. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fine. I think from the mixing of the... It worked for a good three months. And I then have I chips started, in my mouth. Dude, I used to get scared of my mum walking in. And then you start wanking in front of her. Didn't Did no, you have no. a lock on your door? So what I did was like, I'd get so, cause you know, like you're watching like some, I don't know, fucking, it'd be a sexy scene in like a teen movie or some, like a, you know, not oh, another teen movie. Springs back memes. Or, and then or like, sunrise. Well, yeah. Anyway. And then I'd get worried cause you know, you don't want to pull your pants up and your mum knows you're jerking off. So what I do is I'd leave my pants on and rub my dick through the undies. Oh, and just uh, come in your pants. Like yeah, and I'd come in my undies. You realise when your parents washed your yeah, shit, yeah, they're yeah. going to see that. Yeah, No, I'd throw the undies oh, out. Man, then, that's yeah. my you didn't put them in your house bin, though. Yeah, yeah, no, You no, go no, and no. dump do you them remember, in your... Do you remember... When dumped them down the street. Wet dreams? I oh, remember there was a... I really remember, remember. I still have them. That wet dreams coincided with when boxes were cool. So I would just wear yeah. boxes. I'd go to sleep and then just jizz in my boxes. <laughs> this happened to me. While I was dreaming. And then I'd have like four pairs of jizzed up boxes lying around my room. And then when it came laundry day, like I'd forgotten that that mum did the laundry, so and that she would just walk in and, and she'd be like, "Oh, d- didn't you just?" And then yeah, it, yeah, I don't even want to really talk about. You know, it. with oh, her oh, being an see. adult, she would have known, like, "Oh, my son's coming in his shit." Yeah, yeah. Oh. I never had a wet dream and blew from it. I told my parents when I had wet dreams. I told them. I told them when I learned how my, to wank. My, my, <laughs> what were you yeah. saying today earlier on about mum? No, oh, I was just saying that I'm attracted to her. <laughs> I think I think it's normal, just not everyone admits it. Is it? Am I incorrect? True. I definitely can't I think, well, can't say that. My mum's pretty hot, oh, but yeah, like I don't have that for her. Like it's not. Your mum is not hot. Please tell me you're lying, dude. I have. I need to see a picture, like a nude, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, I've she got, doesn't have Facebook. I've, isn't she a cop? 
No, nah, she's not a yeah, cop. She's her free uniform. from this. Dude, no, no, she's, yeah, she was, she's like. <laughs> I reckon. So you've got a hot mum. <laughs> I reckon your yeah, mum's hotter. I've got a Oh, crush. no, my mum's probably most likely no, no, definitely hotter. Dude. His mum is probably hotter. Really? Bull you reckon my mum's hotter? Shit. Yeah. yeah, but what? What? when did you start wanting to F your mum? I never wanted to f, f my mum. I just said she was hot. Yeah. Okay. Big difference, Michael. You so. idiots. Do you have a brain? You alcoholic. Oh, fucking. I might have another sip. <laughs> Pink uh, next fuck. question. <laughs> all in all, yeah, I think my mum's very hot. And you guys can be the judge also. She has Instagram. Janino Doherty. Go have a little look. <laughs> all right. Has she got followers? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we are sick fucks. Why don't you guys uh, have glasses of water out if you're guests or something? <clears throat> I'm thirsty. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what Matt told me to get. Really? Like, yeah. Okay. Just bottles of fucking cleaner and wine. Yeah, you have. To, you got to get into alcohol. I don't want to get into alcohol. Bro, look at you, and you're a great example as to why not to get into alcohol. <laughs> hey, look at me. I'm pink. You're 30 and you piss the bed. I'm 29, nearly 30, and I piss the bed. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, oh. next question Next question is from Michael underscore Fallon underscore Verified Michael Fallon Some of you guys might know He's got a blue tick He's, He's got a blue tick now good, good friend of ours He has asked On a scale of 1 to 10 10 being you'd have sex with it And 1 being you'd throw up on it And then bury it, bury it How much Do you like apples? Oh, 7 um, I've never uh, look. I've never been sexually attracted to any fruit, but uh, and, and if if you bore a hole through an apple, I can imagine it could be all right. I'd Juicy. give it a try. Yeah, and, the, and, and that to be honest, that I've never considered it before. But since that question has been asked, yeah, I, this I brings sorta, back a memory it's from like school. A strong seven. I I, I sort of want to maybe even try it. We called a thing in school a cum, a cum apple, and what we used to do is you used to get a pen and you'd put the the pen in an apple and you'd swirl around a little bit and you'd fill it up with white out. Remember white out? Yeah. Liquid? Yeah. And then you'd like pull a, f it was like a cum apple. Uh, and you'd oh. launch, dude, you could no, launch didn't. that at someone's head and it would just explode with cum. Next question is from Seb dot Woodrow and he or she has asked, why did Nigel ditch for like a year? Okay. That was for Nigel. Okay. We can answer that. Yeah. He met a woman. Nigel, basically he, um, wasn't allowed to post on social media because um, there was a um, mafia drug lord chasing him. <laughs> this guy from Africa who thought that Nigel had something to do with the uh, cocaine shipment being rerouted from Australia to America thought that Nigel had something to do with it. And Nigel, like, nothing, nothing to do with it. So he came to Australia and was hunting Nigel for four to five years and there were some really hairy moments where some of his gang members saw him on the streets and we were with him one of those times and we had to leg it into the... I sucked one of them off. The leg one of the dudes off. The Meriton Hotel. We had to leg it in there and tell the security what was going on and they stopped um, the African drug lords from uh, killing us that day. Oh, yeah. So that's why he was off uh, social media for a year, yeah. I think. I think, I think, yeah, I've heard that somewhere. Could have been a dream. I think I'm they might have sure. a movie, but anyway. Yeah, <laughs> whatever. All right, next question is from Philippus Walter 8. What a good name. And he or she has asked, how long do you guys knew Jackson? <laughs> May I uh, interrupt? <laughs> is this username, uh, is this person a verified account? No. Next question. Next question. Mitchelton <laughs> underscore. <laughs> <laughs> we, we know each other because they got me on their TV show. Michael and I used to have a shitty little community TV show and we got Jackson and Charmy on as guests to interview once. No we one paid for, they we paid, paid for, for their it. flights. No, you know, Marty paid. Yeah. That was straight no, out of my paid. pocket. Yeah, and, Marty and, paid. Yeah. They flew us up there. I stayed and in a hotel. Paid for accommodation. For you, not for Shami though. Give your head button this. I guess that was because Shami, Shami was lived in podcast. Brisbane and I had the hotel. Why wouldn't you just fucking stay at Shami's house that night? I don't know. I wanted to get a hotel. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, fair enough. We had no we had no Did followers. You? Yeah. I think Shami actually had because you know how he lives with his aunt. He was living with his auntie at the time. She lives in his house. Yeah. I think she might have had a friend there, or they had like a family member there, so there wasn't any spare rooms. And I just said, fuck it. We're flying up and sleeping on the floor. And also I would. We had no followers. Yeah. Don't God. ever forget that. Yeah, Should show everyone on camera then. I know. I've, I've Meth got dots. <laughs> no, my, Swell on the pipe one too many times. <laughs> my, my lovely girlfriend has a pimple popping obsession and I have to be the brunt of it. 
She rips out my beard hairs, causes this, and now I have red marks on my face. I'm dating. Yeah, Jackson's dating a girl also. He's not gay. Yet. <laughs> Maybe we, I am. We have had... Cl- well, you fucking told on... Me and Michael girl. nearly fucked. On New Year's we Eve get too into We won't get too... We won't get in... We, it was we won't get too into... We it won't... Was a joke. Oh. <laughs> Look, it was pretty close to becoming a reality. Michael was... Spreading his cheeks apart <laughs> on a couch, completely naked, New Year's Eve, fucked. Anyway. Long story short, we're always nude around each other, showing each other our parts and that. I had a morning bone. I was walking around. I'm probably hard 90% of the time. Even if us three and Greg and Nigel were all in the car <laughs> driving together, I would probably somehow have an erection. And I just always get it out and show everyone. That's just what I do. I walked down in the morning with an erection. As always, Michael was naked showing everyone, <laughs> showing everyone his asshole. Midway through a bender. As always. A few words got thrown around. A few ideas would pop through each other's heads. Things were said. Things were said. Nothing was done, thank God. We came to our senses. and It uh, would be weird right now if we had a fucked. We I'm, wouldn't have fucked because I wouldn't fuck you. <laughs> You'd have to roofie me. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. No, we, we won't see. <laughs> We're never going to see. I'm never going to fuck you. <laughs> Next question fuck. is from Mitchelton underscore. And he or she has asked, crunchy or soft tacos? Asking for a friend. Both. I like both. Oh, together yeah, I'll like, the perfect answer you go I reckon soft but yeah I can understand crunchy okay you hear my answer motherfuckers mm. crispy taco with the soft on the outside double yeah. a, t- a double a, carb a crispy taco in a burrito thing mm-hmm. yeah why has that not been done before it has been Taco Bell do it but that's just yeah it's preference Fuck! we never had that in just want to go there should we take the podcast there all right Bring the you. Ready? Okay. How long does this take to pack up, Greg? <laughs> <laughs> it's Gregory. It's Gregory. Gregory, I'm sorry. Gregory Brown. <laughs> <laughs> really? Oh, yuck! So it's not your middle name. <laughs> and why is it? Isn't that illegal to have your dad's name as your middle name? Dude, no, no. My dad's middle name is Michael. 100%. That's not a lie. Are your parents proud of you? No, yeah. <laughs> Ever since nine eleven, no. yeah. Ever yeah. since nine eleven, post nine eleven, they've been a bit they've more got a bit weird with you. <laughs> <laughs> Terrorist. <laughs> oh, hey, I didn't do it. Yeah, well, I just helped. Yeah, you you gave a shout out to some of the boys. Did it anyway? Next question is from Myrna Daniel six three six, and he or she has asked if you could only eat one food for the rest of your life. What would it be? Cup of bum. Yeah, you also would be assholes. 100% bum hole. Yeah. Just a, a wall of assholes protruding out of them and you just go and suckle on each one. <laughs> Hundreds of assholes. It would have to be like real life food. I don't know, probably sushi. Pizza for you. Yeah, wow. You, 100% really? pizza for you. Yeah, Hawaiian pizza. So that Maybe is your number chili one. Chili flakes. Half of it's got chili flakes because it gets a bit too much. Ugh. Anyway, and or he had three lunches today. <laughs> yeah, because he spoke, hates everything he ever orders. That. And my mine would be um just an, an assortment of vegetables. Actually, Not... sorry. An assort... Actually, <laughs> and assortment. Actually, I'd ass- love to. Michael, you're being very rude. M- mine would be an assortment of vegetables. Not because they taste good, but just because sometimes I become health conscious, and and I w- I know right now that uh, that. That is what I should be eating. So that's what it would be. No, and I want to change my answer because oh, here we fucking I go. live with Lockie. When he cooks, I it's my favorite. And <laughs> satay, satay, no meat, just satay, vegetable stir fry. Unbelievable. Where's and the protein though? I've... Yeah, it's in the beans. Next question is from Senny Coast Life. And he or she has asked to Jackson, have you ever felt embarrassed? Not like... Real, real embarrassment. Like, there's been obviously little things when we do videos, but nothing where I'm like, remember the time I drank your piss? That wasn't embarrassing. Yeah, I know. If anything, it would be embarrassing for you. Yeah. Oh, emba- my Snapchat story? Ah, uh, yeah. Well, it wasn't really embarrassing. It was kind of just like, fuck, because it looks Annoying. so little. I'm trying to think of the last time I got really, really embarrassed. Dude, you make me embarrassed on the regs. Seeing people from my past life when I used oh. to be a tennis coach, now... It's so embarrassing because ah, oh, they're like, you know, usually really like rich business owners or whatever, and, and it's always like oh, seeing your videos, it's they're very Why funny. Why don't you just not have a past life? 
Yeah, I, I thought about that, but then I, then I thought like I don't want to um I don't, don't want to lose that, you know? I don't want to forget about cuz cuz it helps. Having, if you have dementia, that's stupid. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're right. My okay. Nan, like, so my from... nan died of that. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I don't know if that's what killed her, but that's what she had before she died. She, she fully forgot who I was. Dude, same. Same with mine. Anyway, next question is from... We can't see it because Michael fucked up the screenshot. Is Nigel Jackson's dad, if so, did he get us funny slash craziness from we, him? We answered this last fucking week's podcast. But that's, yeah. Is he, is he... He told us that he wasn't, but is he your dad? Well, he said he wasn't. Yeah. Well, I guess that just sums it all up. It's well, just my but, childhood. Yeah. yeah. Well, Nigel, <laughs> Nigel is Jackson's biological father, but he is a bit ashamed. All right, the next segment has been renamed. What was it? Yeah, it's all right. It's pretty close. <clears throat> to like, yeah. And basically, this is just a segment where we talk about an old story, and it just so happens that the story that we're going to talk about this week is. Our time in LA and Jackson was there for half of it. Oh so yeah, this is perfect. It is. Everything is working out perfectly, Greg. LA was a, was a good time. It was a great time. Uh, happy happiness was everywhere. But for the f- so the first thing we wanted to talk about, and we'll try and talk about them in chronological order. But um, the first thing that happened when we were there was was we fucking destroyed our Airbnb. This is it. 2.5 to 3 million dollars. I would house. like to rudely interrupt here and say <laughs> them saying destroyed is like a very like what's the word like a understatement because it wasn't destroyed. It was like very 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 minor compared to other Airbnbs that we usually go to in America. That was just a few fly screens thrown away. We filled a whole spa with piss and rubbish everywhere, a few broken windows. That is all. Nothing that bad. We've done a lot worse. And and also the um and this wasn't our fault, but every time someone had a shower upstairs, the sink would overflow in the kitchen and and sewage would just flood the entire shit. kitchen. Shit. Like actual shit. So they come out. I it was it that. was a shit Airbnb. This house is worth millions of dollars, and it was fucking shit. I like hated it. there's there's it's a two story house, and then the third story is the fucking balcony with a fucking uh, a uh, spa spa. And then we would just open the windows from the the first story and piss into the spa, and the the spa became our toilet. Yeah, we, and and yeah, and and you know the the ground became our rubbish. Yeah. Uh, some other highlights from LA. Um, we uh, Michael oh. got a tattoo of one of our friends' friends' name we on got his ass. So smart. There was one night we got a bit sloshy, sloshed, and we went out and with some friends that just so happened to be in LA. And Michael got one of their names tattooed on his, his asshole. Name's Pero. He's a good dude. One time, this is funny as fuck. This is my favorite moment of the whole trip. We were coming home after filming a few clips in Hollywood to our place in Uber. And Marty just lets his farts rip wherever he is, whenever, where, whenever. So basically, he let this fart rip so loudly in this Uber. And the Uber driver put the windows down, sped from, went from like fucking... It, it filled him with rage. The scent got, of my... Uh, uh, the, what I did filled him with rage and he became a, a, a really aggressive, reckless driver. And it was... That was funny. Another thing that he, happened... He literally was driving 100 kilometers in a 60 zone, <sighs> weaving in... Like, LA traffic's fucked. They're, they're, they're overpopulated. They fuck themselves with just not a good traffic system. And he's just going... <sighs> flying in between three lanes, just like a fucking race car driver. And then, with rage, he was fueled with hate. From what Marty did. And yeah, it was the funniest moment of the trip for me. We got super high and went on a TMZ tour. Do you guys do that high? Yeah, dude, dude, they record you. No, because it was scary. Because like, we were high as fuck and then we get there. And then we find out that they, they try and make it super interactive. And they want everyone to get involved and talk about shit. And we were high as fuck and we're like... Please don't ask us fucking questions. We're trying to like slid down the seats, trying to hide as much as we could. But she just kept asking us questions. I never. And made when I say contact. us, I mean me because Michael refused to say anything, so there'd be awkward silence. I was like this. Yeah. I was like this. So she couldn't even fucking see Michael, and and I had to answer everything that she is asked. It was so shit, Jackson. Dude, uh, why didn't you guys just simply say you didn't speak English? 
Yeah, we Shibble should. Shibble from Australia. Hey, how you going, guys? You guys uh, from Australia, what do you think of this? Throw place? some shrimp on the Barbie, man. We should have oh. said that. That's a good Every idea. American says that. Oh, yeah. Throw yeah. some shrimp on the bar. I've never heard of one Aussie ever say that. A shrimp. And imagine. And we don't it's a fucking prawn. Shrimp. It's a fucking owner. prawn. We don't. Yeah. Well, I don't own a Barbie. Like, I mean, eat them cold, don't the we? The doll. No, the doll. The I Barbie doll. Who the fuck out of barbecues a fucking shrimp. You fucking eat. You peel a prawn and eat it. You don't barbecue a fucking shrimp. And the fucking prawns about this big fucking shrimp about this fucking big dumb dog can't fuck fuck off. I hate shrimp. them. Fucking dumb dog. I dogs. hate them. Yeah, so that's our LA story. It was pretty cool. We met some what cool people. What else did we do? We met uh, Vitali. We went to the Team 10 house. We met um, uh, Chad Tepper and Zach Ass. The best thing about California is weed's legal and you can literally buy gummies. The highest we've ever... Like, that is a good high eating. Did you guys do edible gummies there? Dude, we ate a whole pack in three Whoa. days. Oh, You know they can make you hallucinate? Yeah, I don't think we hallucinated, but yeah, no, I didn't say them ones did. I said sometimes edibles can have that effect, but you clearly well, he's not listening. He's not listening to you, is he? Who the fuck with Michael? How old are you? I'm like a hundred. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so that's the story of uh, LA. Anyway, the next uh, segment has been not renamed. It's just it's got in brackets guest Jackson, and I guess maybe Matt Matthew Gregory Brown thought that Jackson's first name was guest or something, what are and you that, doing that his last name was Jackson. But fuck off, dog. What is there popping it? What do you mean popping yeah, it? Yeah, it's a fucking massive. Mate, it's not there. a whitehead or anything. It's like probably like a bite. Try and squeeze my skin, you slut. It's because you're covered in you fucking meth spots. You, don't. <laughs> <laughs> you got one here, you little fuck. No, nah, no, nah, that's actually a tattoo, mate. Yeah, yeah, he's had that bump tattooed on. Fucking do not look at me and notice anything. We may as well do a little bit of guest Jackson. Yeah, yeah. Who are you? Oh, you're gonna actually. Oh, do I get to talk a bit about this other stuff? Yeah, yeah. You... Oh, interesting. Like, what do you want to be? What, what do you, where, where are you going to, where are you going to be in five years? Have you heard of Shami? Yeah. He's heard big, him. He's big deal, man. But yeah. What so, do you guys want to know? Um, I want to know, I want to know what you're doing, man. What the fuck are you doing? Like, what, what, you're about I'm to just buy sitting a house. here. You're about my, to buy a house. At my friend's shitty house covered in piss. <laughs> <laughs> Waiting for the cooler housemate to cook it up a nice vegan feed. Jackson used to live in this house. He used to dwell in this area. That's yeah, a... he used to live with me. Yeah, he used yeah, to I sleep did. with me. I did... No. We used to have a sleepover. I think I actually used slept to, with We used to uh, sleep Marty in the bed all the time. Marty had that room and I liked the bed more because your bed was just and you was, fucking... Kept, you, Dude, you would let me, leave let me every night. This. My bed was fucked because of this cunt. Yeah, I've pissed. He fu- he's fucked m- one of my mattresses too. He fucked nine girls on my bed. No, no. I pissed a lot. Nine girls. I pissed, pissed nine girls. You're so far away from the mic, you dumb oh, dog. Oh, yeah. I pissed all over Jackson's... No, that's your spare bedroom mattress. Anyway. I walked in there after I got back from America into my like where I left my mattress before or whatever the fuck was going on. There's like three big piss stains. There's just bottles of piss everywhere that is solidified because it's been sat there for so fucking long. Just solid Rubbish. chunks of piss. Just crap everywhere. Pizza boxes and just... This man lives like... It's disgusting. He has a piss bottle. He keeps a piss bottle next to his bed. I, yeah, gets, I said that. He now doesn't... it's going solid. No, I did that because Monique was staying over and I didn't want to wake you guys up going to the bathroom at night. It's not that fucking loud. It's flushing the Dude, toilet isn't this, something This that house is about. like a fucking anything you can Why hear, don't you, you go can, and buy something? You can hear a cockroach walk down the stairs and they walk downstairs. I actually enjoyed living here. But the moment Marty moved out, it's like kind of when the vibe just got lost a bit. Yeah, yeah, agreed. Um, it, it's yeah, never yeah, yeah. been the same since I left. It was it's, fun when we were all here because, like, Michael didn't drink quite as much. Marty left, Michael started drinking more, and I don't really like alcohol like that. I don't judge, but he's a loser. <laughs> so I left, and I left fast. <laughs> you only went 200 meters up the street, <laughs> and you want me to come over tonight to play you? I mean, what are you going to? <laughs> oh. Oh, you know what's at stake. <sighs> I'm not going to shower either. <laughs> <laughs> can I sleep in a spare bed? Yeah, you can actually. My but don't old... fuck that one because that's the brand new mattress. My old. Ba- I'm sleeping on the piss bed in my normal room because I like that mattress more. <laughs> he is. He swapped his new mattress with my old piss mattress. What do you mean your old piss mattress is mine? I yeah. left a nice expensive bed here in the ca- and he fucked it. Yeah, you can't it. ever leave a ma- if you leave a mattress with Michael for six months, it's <laughs> fucked <laughs> straight away. Charmies. The other day you're filming, and out the back there's just this mattress next to the bush, and that's what they put out for Michael when he's there because he pisses everywhere. 
<laughs> no, well, fucking hell. Yeah, yeah. You're a yeah. pathetic excuse of a fucking Thank adult. you, one bed, for of giving us human, free mattresses. Of a human, not an adult. A human. You're a woman. <laughs> I'm not going to have my way with you later. Um, so, Jackson, uh, fuck, marry, kill, me, Michael, Nigel. <laughs> I know I'm going to be the fuck. <laughs> I'm going to be the fuck. Maybe. You would <laughs> love to fuck me, I reckon. You would love it. I don't know why you're so cocky. Like, what makes you think that I want to fuck your yeah, ass? You, you, you cha- I'm you cha- more feminine. You're changing I'm skinnier. His, you're changing his answer, don't. Okay, yeah, yeah. You can't manipulate me into voting. Or oh yeah, he'd kill me actually. <laughs> I don't know if I'd kill you. I, I t- like, I do like being around you sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> um, I probably like marry Nigel because he's got more money. <laughs> Nah, fuck, I couldn't marry Nigel. When he shits, it reeks the whole fucking house out. Um, I'd probably marry Marty because he's the healthiest. Hmm. And I know that I'm going to have a partner for a good long time. You know, you know that I won't do you wrong, bro. You'll be loyal. Yeah, I'll be fucking with you to the day you die, cunt. And you're going to look good. Fuck, no, More importantly, you're healthy. Fuck, no, I can't. He's an alcoholic and Nigel drinks 10 coffees a day. So, in terms of health department, marry for longevity, Marty... Fuck, it's so hard because like I don't want to fuck Nigel, but I don't want to kill you. Do you want to know who Nigel killed? Can no, you? no, tell him after. Okay. Oh. You know, I kill Nigel and fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Nigel, kill me. It's hard to say when I'm sitting next to you. <laughs> he did, yeah. He killed you. No, Straight up, he's like, I'm killing that guy. <laughs> that one hurts. <laughs> so yeah. Kill oh. Michael, fuck Nigel, and marry <laughs> Marty. Oh, you changed. Oh, what, what was my original answer? Kill Nigel. Yeah. Yeah, yeah kill Nigel, fuck. Uh, I'd let you. Oh, well, so well, you almost did. You almost did, right? You've already nearly done it, eh? <laughs> Can I be drunk? Yeah, of course. All right, cool. You lick it yourself up to the hills, Michael. At least I know Turkish my fucking. The, the choice of married is going to live for longer than a few more years. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look, he's already finished that glass. <laughs> Yeah, that's all. My alcohol's on. That's it. So I'm bored. Can we finish this? <laughs> I'm going to bed. <laughs> you come on and play CTR. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got heaps of beers in the fridge for tonight because I knew you were coming. Don't excite me like he's that. He's just told you he's giving you six beers. No, he's not. I, thought, when did I, I bought you a case once. I didn't lie about that. I bought a six pack because I knew we were going to have a good session tonight. Are you serious? Yeah. Are you serious? <laughs> I, why would... If you're serious, dude, I will... <laughs> no, you're not. No, I am fucking serious. I went down to the shop. I went there with Nigel today. I got a six pack of beers. I got some soft drink. Got some some chips, stickies, hey. Some Starburst. <laughs> Dude, I'm so keen now. So the next segment has not been renamed. Uh, it's just still called Prank Call. And for this week's Prank Call, I'm going to call Domino's. And Michael is going to insert words. some words that he's written down. And I have to incorporate them into my order while I'm calling Domino's. <laughs> Alright, here we go. <clears throat> hey, uh, can I just place a um, pickup order, please? Friction. Um, oh, there's just a bit of friction. Uh, what sort of uh, value pizzas do you guys have? Value pizzas? Multiple sclerosis. Um, whatever that word is. Like pepperoni, simply cheese, is it trio. I've just got um, multiple uh, sclerosis. Is there any sort of um, chicken pizzas? What are the chicken pizzas that you have? Empathy. Um, barbecue chicken bacon. Oh, empathy. Rash. Pardon? Empathy. Rash. Um, empathy? Yeah. No, no, that's just like a slang word that I use, empathy, um, when something's cool. Um, all right, so yeah, let's just put down one of those uh, barbecue chicken pizzas um, with rash on it. Silverback. Yeah, and um, do you guys have any silverback meat? Pardon? Crystal do you guys man. have any silverback meat? Hey, crystal man. Silverback mint? Yeah, yeah, sorry. I've never really ordered from this before. I'm not sure like what the ingredients are called. Um, is, Do you guys not have silverback meat or... Crystal man. Or uh, um, crystal man? I'm not sure what that is. Right, okay. Um, w- w- What sort of other beef, beef pizzas do you have? Boy. Um, we have the beef and onion. Is that boiled or? Oh, no, it's like pedophile. put in an oven. Oh, wow, that's so pedophile. <laughs> Cat skin. Um, uh, all right, well, I'll just get, um, what, what was it? Oh, there's like a meat lovers or something. I'll just get that with, um, oh, yeah, so, yeah. A, 
so a barbecue chicken and then a meat lovers with extra cat skin. Bleeding teeth. Bleeding teeth. Classic. You want cat chicken on it? Oh, yep. Hang on, my teeth are just bleeding. T- bleeding teeth. Birth operation. Yeah. <clears throat> um, and there's this birth operation. Um, do, do you guys have any uh, sides as well? Birth operation? Retarded development. Um, yeah, we do have sides. We have like chips. Um, chicken meatballs. All right. Uh, so so far, so let me just read this order back out. So we got the barbecue chicken. We got a barbecue meat lovers with c- extra cat skin, and then we yeah. have a um a birth operation. Uh, birth operation and retarded operation. development and retarded development development. I've got a shattered sorry, heart. Um, shattered heart. I'm not sure what that is. Sorry, I'm just I've I've never ordered here and I've just got a bit of a shattered heart listening to you. I, I'm demented. A bit embarrassing and it, I feel a bit demented. Do you have what, what let, let's just leave those two pizza orders. What sort of drinks do you have? Enrolling um, children. We have like Pepsi, Pepsi Max. Do you, Solo, Sunkiss, 7 Up, Energy. Do you enroll? <laughs> oh, so you guys are like enrolling children? Pardon? Are you guys like enrolling children like to work at um at, at Domino's or is that Efficient rapists. Um, currently. Yeah, yeah. Was there like, because I just there's like an efficient rapist down the road, and it's just I, I sort of need work. Happy dick. Yeah, um, yeah, we're employing now. Fuck yeah, happy dick, happy dick. Yeah. Friction. Yeah. Back um, can to I get friction. Your name? Yeah, yeah, sure. My name is um friction. Friction. F R I F R I C T I O N. Friction spoil. Friction spoil. Friction, S S P O I L. Friction, friction spoil. My teeth are bleeding. Okay. Teeth are bleeding. And that was just the. Uh, I'm demented with a shattered heart. And classic barbecue meat lovers with extra cat skin. Yes, please. And I'm also demented with a shattered heart. Enrolling children, efficient rapist. And uh, um, you guys are enrolling children, and you guys are efficient rapists. Is there no more? Happy dick. Happy Dick. Happy Dick is also the last one on the list. Uh, you've been part of a uh, prank call. Thank you very much for your help. Uh, cancel yeah, that. Okay. Cancel that order. Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 Fuck, I hate her. The hard part is making it all the way through the prank call without them hanging up, and we did that. Yeah, it's not usually you get... Like, uh, like that's a lot. That's a big list. That's a long list of shit to say. Uh, well, I could have kept going. Like, she... Do your job better and fucking hang up on us. Uh, and I, uh, yeah, I snuck those phrases in there well, I think. It's just, it's hard to tell. I I, I, I sounded like a normal person. What do you that, think, that is, Jackson? That's what most people you, sound like you when they like order you food. You've been very entertained by our <laughs> prank call. You've been enjoying what we've done. I'm a millionaire. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, we're the best. Best. 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 We're the best. We're the best. We're the best.